Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your set. I am Hitman Cos, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official review for uh, for Survivor. I mean, the, the official predictions for Survivor Series 2021. And you, you guys should know by now. I'm not alone in, in this endeavor. Please welcome one and all uh, my co-host. Gary, to the contracts. Gary, welcome to the contracts. My man, Carl Payton. What's good? What's good? What's good? Yeah, ain't shit, man. But, but you know, uh, I figured. I, I think we need to uh, break tradition, and 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 it's, and it's something more important that we need to talk about before we get into to to the uh, pay per view. You feel me? Yes, sir. Now, as you, as you guys know. WWE has has been, uh, well, has done their usual releases that 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 they've been doing, and and it's really gotten out of hand. Yes, it really has been. And 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 this and this round of releases has to be the absolute worst. I mean, I mean, words can't describe how how. How much this is this has angered me. Me too. Now, we're, uh, now we're gonna do it in, in in not in the order of that they were released, more like alphabetical order. But anyway, starting off, first name on the list is B Fab. Now, you guys, pro, uh, now if you hadn't watched NXT. You probably don't know who she is, but she was the female member of Hit Row. How she, how her 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 name, her voice. How you probably recognized her voice in um what's his face in in, in the beginning, uh, uh in, 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 in 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 the in the beginning of the other theme. Exactly. And and. And like, and like, first off, they, they, this pisses me off because number one, number one, they, they had they had to make a new version of Hit Row's theme with without without her on it, and it just didn't it it, it didn't feel the same. Yeah, exactly. That was really ridiculous, honestly speaking. Yeah, and and, and like and like, what what makes it even worse is that Hit Row Hit Row all together was just recently drafted to the main roster and 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 for and for B Fab to get the boot without having and without even having a match on the main roster. She she's gone. Exactly. That was some complete bullshit if you were to ask me. Really, really was. Yeah. Moving, moving on to the next name. Uh, we have Ember Moon. That's one of those that hurt me the most as well. But she was great talent. I mean, she went back to NXT. I mean, they could have done some things with her in NXT. Yeah. Now, if if y'all don't remember uh, Ember Moon, uh. She she was on NXT for uh, uh for a good while. Then she got called up, and she was there for like maybe a, a year or two. Then she suffered an Achilles injury, had her out of action for for a good minute. Then what? Then then what she then then what then what she healed she um. She she came back to NXT. Um and Yeah. But and then like towards her and then towards her release, they really weren't doing stuff, but but still they could have not they could have done something. But but like this was wild. Exactly. And the, the next person on this list is really a, a, 
a shocker to nobody but um, Eva Murray. Yeah, there was no damn point in bringing her back, honestly speaking. Really, there was no point in bringing her back. There really was no point in bringing her back, honestly speaking. I mean, I mean, personally, as a wrestler, I see no value in her, obviously, but freaking, they, 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 they definitely missed out on having her as a manager, a real good heel, a real good heel manager, and the reason why I feel so, feel, feel this way is because, you know, she, she can talk a bit on the mic, you know, that is, if you can actually hear her, because she, because, because this, this is really needless to say, but she's a heat magnet. Everyone knows it. She's a heat magnet. And and, the, and in my opinion, that would be perfect for your up-and-coming heel superstar to have her as a manager. Not only does he have so, uh, so, something something very appealing to look at, so again, she, uh, she's a, she'll be a perfect heat magnet for him. Yeah, exactly. So... So, so they missed an opportunity to to make her useful. Exactly. Uh, moving on, this oh, th- this one is definitely gonna help. It, it, it oh oh man. Next one is Frankie Monet. It, if you guys never watched NXT with her on it, she she is Taya Valkyrie. Right, exactly. Um, I honestly didn't know. I, I I don't know what direction they were going with when it came to her, because first she starts doing winning a little, then she then she gets a few losses. I don't I don't know what they were doing, and then I got super confused when they when they put her a part of the Robert Stone brand. Don't get me wrong, I, 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 I I'm all for the Robert Stone brand, but I was really confused as to why she was a part of it. But you know that, but but she got released before you know it could it, it, it could you know maybe maybe make sense, or for her to do anything you know she she wasn't that she she wasn't on TV long. Exactly. And like literally the last time she was there, she was a part of like she was in the background of a of the Halloween party at Halloween Havoc. Exactly. But whatever. And and actually, you know, I screenshotted some sweets from her that I'm gonna bring up at, at the end. But but moving on, we have Grand Metal League of the of the Lucha House Party. Um, I mean, it, it's a shame he's gone. A a a, a, ta- a definitely talented brother, but you know. He only thing he was doing was 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 wasting his time and catering. So 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 you know they did him a favor. All right, that's correct. Cause like don't get me wrong, I, I really like the the Lucha House Party. I'll even admit, freaking um, when I first heard of the Lucha House Party, I immediately shitted on it. But freaking one of my bo- my, my boy post ninety shot up to him, the co owner. Of Struggle Vision Productions, freaking, he he, he he was the one that that made me change and change my mind about the Lucha House Party. Then I gave him a chance, and his hunch was right. They were the shit, but but they really missed out on on turning Kalisto heel. Yeah, tell me about it. They really did. Cause in my opinion, they really should have done it. Cause cause. There were obvious signs of, 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 of a heel turn for him. Yeah, exactly. But you know, he he got he, he got released a, a long time ago, so you know they 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 dropped the ball on that. Oh yeah, they really did. So you know, hopefully, Grand Metal League will find some uh, a nice place after you know his days are up. Exactly. Um. The next person on the list is uh, Harry Smith. Yeah, um, if you guys watched, um, watched WWE around the early re- the early reality era, 
You probably remember him as G.H. Smith or Harry Smith Jr. He is the son of the British Bulldog. He was he was, he was one third of the Hart Dynasty with Natalia and Tyson Kidd. Um, they did resign. They did resign him in 2020, but he but he was never on TV. So this so so, so this was this was an absolute waste because he was tearing it up on the Indies. But but you know but 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 they wasted the but but they wasted his time. Uh, uh, by not doing anything. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, and honest, and I and I and I'll, and I'll be honest, heel and face. I hated the hard, the hard dynasty, but you know, I saw I saw the I I saw the skill in Harry Smith. I I, I saw the skill, but you know, it. I, I guess it just wasn't meant to be as far as him coming back. Right, exactly. But you know, they still they they still they still should have at least tried. Right, that's a fact. Yeah. Next person on the list, um, Jeet Rama. Um, I'm gonna have to make this brief just because I don't know him. You know. Right. So, um, I'm I'm assuming maybe he 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 was uh still training in the performance center. Maybe they could have they could have done something with him. Uh, I don't know. I I, I, re- I really don't I really don't know anything. So yeah. Right. Uh, nah. Moving on from the Robert Stone brand, Je- Jesse McKay. I I I, I mean Jesse Kamea. Uh, right. Um, I'll be honest. I I really don't have much to say about her mainly because, because because mainly she was, in, in my opinion, once Frankie Monet joined the Robert Stone brand, she was trapped in in Frankie's shadow. So, so she really never stood out to me. And, well, yeah, I can't blame you for that. I can't blame you for that. And and I really saw her as as nothing more than a jobber, which upsets me. You know. Cause, she, exactly. cause she probably, cause she probably had, more than likely had, had the, uh, had, had the skills to, uh, you know, be great. Right, exactly. That's the truth. She really did have the skills to be great, man. Yeah. But moving on, this one is is a, is a little infuriating. Um, if you guys don't haven't watched NXT. He was known as Killer Cross, but here he was Carrying Cross. Uh, um, just the just disappointment, man, and what they done to him. Cause when he was on, an, uh, I'll admit, and you guys can even go back to previous episodes of the Context is Proof. I've said straight up, when he was in NXT, he was boring. I don't care. Uh, 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 I don't care how much they put, how good they pushed him in NXT, and, that's, and, and 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 they pushed him good in NXT. But they had him go on on an undefeated streak. They had him win the NXT title twice. Like, like, like he like he had everything going for him. Yep, that but, is correct. He did. They did. But, but, but freaking, you know. I was never sold on him because he was boring, and right, and, and, and like, and I felt, and and he pretty much got exposed by Adam Cole. Right. Because even today, I still remember the promo that Adam Cole cut that pretty much exposed him completely. Where he said, "Freaking, they 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 give you the girl, his wife." The, the the fancy entrance, the smoke, and the and the gimmick to make you feel special. But what well, well, what do they do to make me feel special? They ring the friggin' bell. Exactly. And like and like that exposed him completely. But I will admit he was starting to get he was starting to get better. Yeah, then, yeah, sure. And then you know once he lost the NXT title and got called up, 
they completely they completely messed him up. First off, they messed him up when he when he lost to Jeff Hardy. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I was happy for for Hardy, but that but that immediately put a dagger through through Karen Cross because he was he, he was undefeated on on NXT minus him losing the title to Samoa Joe. Complete, completely unstoppable. And then for that to happen, you know, it, it immediately messed up his credibility. Then, then they messed up even further by freaking um by by having this dude look like a reject from demolition. Ha- having him wearing some freaking what looked to be some freaking uh gimp garbs and like I don't know where I don't know what they were going for w- with that, but it but that was not it. Right, yeah, it really wasn't. And then and then like well and then and then like what was the what was the most puzzling of all was that freaking at the time of his release that the, the, they were freaking he was he, he was doing vignettes um to to hype himself up again. So like, what the hell was the point? Yeah, what the hell was the point? I agree. Like, like he was cutting promo after promo to to like build the hype of his return, and then this man, man, makes no sense. Yeah, exactly. But you know, hopefully, I'm sure he'll be able to find some great work when somewhere with his wife. Um, I got plenty to say about uh, about uh, I got some some diff- I got some interesting stuff about his wife, but we'll get to that when, when we get there. Um, next next up is uh, Ka- uh Katrina Cortez. Um, again, if you guys did not want NXT, you do not know who who this woman is. She was the female mass wrestler. Um. Uh, uh, she was she was mainly a jobber, but and so it really isn't 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 much I can say about her. Um, but yeah, bit of a shame. Now this next name I'm about to say pissed off the whole world. Keith Lee. Yeah, it pissed the whole world off for real. It really did. Because. Yeah, Cause first off, with everybody on this list, Keith Lee what was the biggest name. Yeah, for real, man. And 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 and, and, and let me make this perfectly clear: Keith Lee does not need WWE. He has he, he he has enough talent, enough credibility, a lot, and 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 he's good enough. He does not need WWE. But that's not the point. The the point is. They, they they could have done so much good with him, but but they blew it, and then they they released like this is shit. Like like I can't I uh, like I, I I can't articulate it any 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 different than this is shit. You know, because right. I mean, exactly. and like, because like, first off, once again on NXT, he was he was doing everything great. Freaking, he how he he unified the the North American and and, and the NXT title. Freaking, yeah, he he had a five star match with, with, with Dominic Dijakovic. Freaking, it was it was great, and. And then, and then once he came to the main roster, they 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 did it all wrong. Exactly. Like literally from the from the immediate time he came to the main roster, they did it all wrong. Because first off, when he got sent to the main roster, they they took his steam away, gave us some some whack ass rock bullshit that that didn't fit at all. Then, exactly. then they had him. Wearing some shorts that 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 did not that did not that did not look like they belonged on them. 
Oops, like that was the I was the worst. Then, then by the time he 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 got his his own theme back, they did the right thing by giving him back his tights, but but like you know that they, they were still bullshitting with him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and unfortunately, due to circumstances out of Keith's control, he was he was taken off TV because because of his health problems, you know. But like after he came back, you know, exactly. they, they um, you know, he it, it looked like it, it looked it looked like they were gonna restart him and start new, name him naming him Bear. Bearcat Keith Lee or something like that, but and the Bearcat I think was was his idea, so I wasn't I, I I had no problem with that, but they just released him after that. Like like what was the point of of hyping him up with a new name and everything just to give him the boot? Again, exactly. make made no sense at all, and it pisses exactly. me off. You know? Exactly. Yeah, right. Just, uh, oh my god. So, such frustration. Moving on. Uh, we have his wife, I, I mean, fiance, Mia Yim. Now, for those of you who didn't watch NXT, Mia Yim is reckon. I mean, is is a reckoning of the female member of um, a Retribution. Now, it, it really it really kills me that after uh, Ret- Ret- Retribution split, Mason T Bar would were, were doing stuff, but yet, but yet she, but yet she, she was, she she was off TV. Like literally, uh, like literally after after retribution split, they didn't they didn't have her do anything. She she was she was doing nothing. This this talented woman, this extremely talented woman, wasn't wasn't they weren't doing anything. They were waste they were wasting her completely. Exactly. When freaking in in NXT they were doing it. I mean, sure, she ain't, she ain't win any title in NXT, but like at, le- at least she was on the show, you know, d- showing showing her her immense skill. Right. But freaking nah, they they they, they just decide to not give her anything and then give her the boot. Exactly. Now the now this now this next name broke my heart. Nia Jax. Yeah, that broke my heart too a lot. It really did. And I don't I don't care how many people bitch about how dangerous she was in the ring. Freaking she was improving. She was improving yeah. greatly. She was being really she was she, towards the end she was being safer in the ring. I uh, and uh, and you know, even even with all the injuries, I I absolutely love Nia Jax. You know, it, it hurts so much to, to see that she got released. And apparently, I, actually, no, I, 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 I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to that later. But still, it 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 it, it really hurt. It yeah, really did. And you know, she she got written she got she got written off TV. Be, because you know she want she wanted to, uh, uh, uh she she needed to take some time off uh mentally you know Me- mental health is is no joke y'all like yeah, exactly. I thought you took time off. like never take ne- never take your, your your mental health for granted exactly but but all all that aside man to freaking to release her while she's while she's off, man. Like why? Like why, man? Just why? Exactly. Ah, oh, man. 
But, but I will say this. At least she got some gold. Freaking, she's a former Raw Women's Champion and a former two-time uh, Women's Tag Team Champion with Shayna Baszler. So, and so at least she won some gold before leaving. Exactly. But even still, doesn't excuse the the heart the utter heartbreak of her of her leaving. Yes, sir. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, um, moving on, we have, um, this, this one, this one hurt, um, from NXT, Oni Lorcan. Yeah, it really did. Yeah, it really, that hurt too. Because one thing, he was in a tag team with Danny Burch. So now I can, I, I can only imagine that freaking Burch is going to be on... It's, it's going to be, you know, not doing anything. Because now his partner's not, not in the company anymore. Exactly. And, you know. And it really sucks because, like, because first off, Lorcan and Birch were hard hitting. And I mean hard hitting, man. They 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 fought they fought that that British strong style, yo. They were tough. Exactly. Then they were tough as nails. Right. But you know, uh, it, it 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 sucks to see him go. You know, I can I guarantee you he'll probably find some work somewhere else. But you know, it it, it it's a shame to see such a great talent be. Be be wasted, and you know, and and the and, and for him, not uh, you know, to be just tossed out. Exactly. Uh, um, up next, this uh, this one was very disappointing. Karen Cross's valet and wife, Scarlett Bordeaux. Yeah, and and you know, it, it, and, and and let me say this: when when Karen got got, got put to the main roster, freaking she would she didn't go with him. He was literally she was literally taking off TV, doing nothing. You know, exactly. Uh, and I'm like, like freaking, they 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 they. They're missing out on a golden opportunity with her. Cause one thing, freaking, with as good as she looks, you know, I, I candy is sure to draw ratings. And then on top of that, she's actually very skilled in the ring. Exactly. Like, like if you guys hadn't seen her work, you know, if you guys hadn't seen her matches on the independent scene or on or, on Impact, like, like seriously, she was actually good. And you know, and you know, needless, needless to say, she's sexy as shit, which which ties into to what I'm to to, to what they could have done. Even even though we're past this era, they they, they could have had her, you know, maybe have a brawn panties match with, with Eva Marie. Word, that's a fact. See, and, and I guarantee you that'd be one match that Eva w- would not would not be able to mess up. Like she'd be able to do that perfectly. Exactly. But uh, but um but funny thing with, with with Scarlett is that after she got released, like immediately after she got released, like literally twenty four hours after she got released, freaking magazine companies were hitting her up and shit. Like like she got like mad opportunities knocking at her door. Like like the, the day after she. She got released, so like, so like she and she's gonna be fine. Right, exactly. And then on top of that, I'm pretty sure uh, I saw it. Ever, you, you had to be living under a rock to, to not to see it. But she actually asked on Twitter if she should make an OnlyFans, and exactly. and with and with somebody as fine as her. Making an OnlyFans, oh, oh, people, uh, thirsty ass people worldwide 
uh, will will be pouring millions of dollars her way. I guarantee it. Right. So, so, so she's gonna she's gonna be all right. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, Trey Baxter. Um. If you guys hadn't, if you guys didn't watch NXT, um, then you guys have no idea who this guy is. He was a he was a part of the um, uh, the tournament that had um, Carmelo Hayes, Odyssey Jones, and Andre Chase and Luke Hudson in it. Um, he uh, after after the tournament, he really didn't do much. Um, he really didn't stand out. Uh, I really don't have much to say about him. You know, it it, it is what it is. So yeah, so, yeah. They gave him the boot. Next name, uh, uh, Zeta Ramir. Um, I'll be honest. I don't know who, who she is at all. I'm looking at her. Uh, I don't. I don't know who she is at all. She she she, she was probably still training in the performance center with with um with uh with with NXT so you know eh, I don't know I was weak. Yeah. Uh moving on was the second uh batch of uh releases and which which happened uh not too long ago. Quite a few days a few days ago. This one pissed me off just as much. <laughs> How about you, Docs? That pissed me off a lot too. Freaking, the first names on this list was Hit Row. The rest of Hit Row. That pissed me the hell off. Like, yo, what the fuck? Literally. Oh yeah. No, like literally, they just got here. Exactly. Like, what what pissed me off? That really pissed me off too. Where's the thing? Thursday when my boy shook me up it was like how you release hit roll. So I'm like, oh I'm like only the TNT fab got released. So then now I looked it up for myself actually that I see the proof that it's for real. Like what the fuck? And I couldn't believe it. Yeah, you know? Freaking Oh like like yo the, the, like like this pissed like this pissed me off so much that that it almost made me not not want to watch WWE, you know? Word man. Cause these guys were doing it in NXT, man. I I was so hyped when they got drafted to SmackDown. That cause, cause I thought I thought all four of them had it all, had the skills to do it all, to do it big, to to bring to bring. Their, their their style. They, they literally they literally just got thrown away, like they were nothing. Freaking, exactly. Like, like all all they all they did was have, I think one match, and and it was it was a regular tag match, not even a six man match. So so Ashanti and the Adonis didn't even get to show what what he could do in the ring. And they cut a few promos, and that was it. Exactly. Like, like, the, like the only the only thing the only thing noteworthy that they did was freaking what was was um cut a promo with Sami Zayn, but that was it. Like, exactly. like it made no sense, man. What's the what was the point of bringing them up from NXT? If you just if you're just gonna give them the boot, like exactly. no sense at all. Exactly. <sighs> the and anyway, moving on the the next name on this list, this one uh, ma- makes me a little mad. Drake Maverick. Yeah, that made me mad too. Cause. I th- I thought that they learned their lesson last year when they released him. Exactly. But they clearly didn't, because this guy has proven himself to be to, uh, to be um, to be very entertaining. 
with especially with with him with how much he was constantly um uh chasing the 24 7 championship and he got a few reigns out of it and you, and like all this planning and whatnot he was he was entertaining as hell yeah he really was and then freaking on nxt um you know he was a part of that cruiserweight tournament to crown a temporary cruiserweight champion and he, he literally was on the crowd side because because they wanted him to they wanted him to stay because when he got when he initially got released went along with with a shit ton of other stars he released a heartfelt video that that bro- that broke everyone's heart you know then exactly. you know they didn't want to see him go I didn't want to see him go we wanted to see him win the tournament and the title just so he'll stay but unfortunately right. but unfortunately he only he only made it to the finals and lost in the finals however Triple H, in all his infinite wisdom, uh, uh, still gave him a contract, anyways. And exactly. and you know, it was great, man. It was great, cause then he got into a tag team with Killian Dane. You know, I was getting Team Hell No vibes from them, just cause you know, uh, you know, uh, Drake right. Drake was goofy and. And Killian was, was more serious, but eventually, you know, the freaking Killian grew grew to respect him. But exactly. but unfortunately, Killian got released, so Drake was by himself. So they put him back uh, back with chasing the twenty four seven title, which was good, cause freaking you know, Reggie had a R- 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 Reggie had a death grip on it, and you know I like I, I liked how Reggie kept. Kept, kept, kept outsmarting every one of their plans, but you know, but he, but just the fact that he was put back on TV to you know, to to you know, breathe light in into into the twenty four seven title, you know, it was great, absolutely great. And then for him to be gone, like, like, uh, it's it, it it it's very disappointing. Correct, for real. I mean, at this point, I, I hope that when his days when his days are are, are up, he um, goes back to uh, Impact as Rockstar Spud, and to, and and also oh, take yeah, that was, that was crazy, you know? and also I hope he takes his sexy ass wife with her. She she is so thick. Yo. Right. For, uh, uh, first off, Drake Maverick, fr- freaking to bag somebody as sexy as her. Like he, he 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 just shows that all you all you exactly. need all you need is enough confidence. Hey, that's correct, man. <laughs> but but any but anyways, yeah. I, I honestly thought she was gonna stay in WWE longer, but you know. Exactly. But you know she wasn't there long. It is what it is. You know, move moving on. Uh. Moving on down the list, uh, with um, we have Jackson Riker. Now, now, if you guys remember uh, the days of Impact Wrestling, he was Gunner. With he was Gunner. Oh yeah. Yeah, and actually, back when he was Gunner. If you guys remember, he used to have a tag team with um, James Storm before, before James Storm turned on him. And also, he had an alliance with Samuel Shaw, present day Dexter Loomis, before before Shaw turned on him as well. Yeah. Um, but then you know he came to uh, NXT with 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 uh, Steve Cutler, and then they brought. And, and, and then they have, and then they fucked up Wesley Break from the from, from, from obscurity to make the Forgotten Sons, and you know they had they had a decent thing going, and then you know they got brought up to the main roster, but unfortunately, um, Jackson Riker said something positive about uh, about former President Donald Trump, 
and then and then pretty much all uh, 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 um, all the people I mean uh, everybody that works in WWE came jumping down his back like a bunch of like a bunch of fucking idiots and then because of that he was taken off TV for a good minute you know and then when he came back he was aligned with Elias you know do, doing his thing and but then Elias turned on him then after he beat Elias you know he, he wasn't do he, he wasn't doing anything and then you know he's gone I mean I mean you know he wasn't doing doing anything of the sort prior to his release but even still you know Hey, you know. But, yeah. Um, I really don't have much to say about him, you know. His situation is his situation, but but maybe they could have had something else for him, but but you know, you know they didn't. Exactly. Moving on. Yeah, well, well what'd you say? Dude, that was cool shit too. Yeah. But you know, I I guess since he wasn't that popular, it won't it doesn't upset that many people. Right. But moving on to a guy that was popular, John Morrison. Right. This this really confused me because I thought they were gonna have him stick around so Miz came back from Dancing with the Stars, so they could restart their feud. Cause Mister, cause, uh, uh, cause you know Miz turned on him and whatnot. But no, they they, they decided to give him, they, they decided to give him the boot. Now this, now this, now this annoys me because you know once again you got a talented brother like John Morrison. He was reduced to doing nothing, and and he was doing. And he was doing some silly ass promos uh, as of late, but he, but but, he, uh, uh, but and the promos were doing nothing for him. Right, that's a fact. But that's a, that's right. But hey, you know, but, and, and and I figured you know they were trying to do something until Miz came back, but you know, but, but they weren't even trying. Exactly, they really wasn't. <sighs> it, it, yeah, you know. Uh, but, but you know, just like Ty Valkyrie said in her tweet, they're gonna be all right. So you know, best wishes to to John Morrison and and Frankie Monet. So you know, yeah. Yeah, they'll be all right. Yeah. The next name on the list, um. This was disappointing, but overall, mainly because of what he was doing as of late, really should, really probably didn't piss many people off. But Shane Thorne. Now, if you guys did not watch NXT, he initially was one half of TM61 slash The Mighty with Nick Miller, but they, but, but then, but, but then they were for they were forced to split. Because Nick Miller asked for his release, which they granted, and he went back to um, he went back home to Australia to start a family, which is which is very understandable, you know, man. Do you think start your family, you know, all all the power to you, man. Pr- proud of you. Right. But you know, Shane st- stayed with the company. He he really wasn't doing any anything of the sort until they. Had him a part of Retribution. Uh, changed his name to Slapjack. Uh, and then, like, and you know, the, I'd rather not talk about Retribution. So, you know, the less talked about them, the better. But, but after Retribution split, you know, you know, uh, you know, Shane Thorne was off TV doing nothing. And once again, you had a great talent like Shane Thorne twiddling his thumbs backstage and catering. Exactly. 
So, you know, uh, uh, I hope it, he goes on to do great things. Oh, and also, and, and also, I'd like to say this about Drake Maverick. I saw an, a, an interesting post by EC3 on, uh, on IG. Who knows? May, may, maybe they might reunite. Right. Oh, yeah. Now this next name is disappointing because she just got drafted to Raw, Tegan Knox. Right. And she's literally I put her in the same boat as Hit Row. What was the point of of of, of putting of putting her on of putting her on the main roster just to just to just to do nothing and release her. That is correct. And I'm and first off, but before she got drafted to Raw, she was on SmackDown with Shotzi Blackheart. And this this part pisses me off is that they earned a shot at the women's tag titles, but then literally Rhea Ripley and Nikki Ash cut the line, cut in front of them, and got their opportunity and won the titles to, to boot. But, like, what, like, what get, and then on top of that, freaking, they got separated via the draft. And, like, I thought, you know, maybe she was going to start to do something noteworthy on, on Raw, like how they're doing for Shotzi on SmackDown, but no. She, she hadn't been on TV at all. Like, 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 what was the point? And on, and moreover, when she was still on NXT, the way she came back did not make sense. Because, exactly. fr- because freaking, they they had her come, they had her come back and cost, um, Indy Hardwell and Candice LeRae the women's tag titles, but there was no build on it. They didn't follow up on it at all. Exactly, did it. Uh, and before, and before we get into the pay-per-view, I I gotta say this, you know, I gotta feel for Shayna Baszler because, you know, with Tegan Knox, this is another one of Shayna's friends gone, you know. Because like, she she had her own little clique with uh, Tegan Knox, me and him, and uh, and Jessamyn Duke. And now with all of them gone, you know, she's by herself, you know, it sucks. Exactly, it did. Yeah, and, and, and let me say this about, about Hit Row as well. You know, they had such great potential that I hope they stay, to, they, they stay together on the indies, you know. Word. Because yeah, you guys may, may not know this about Top Dollar, the big dude, a part of the group. He actually played football. He actually played in the NFL. Huh? Yes. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had a bit of a career in the NFL. Oh wow. But you know, none, but unfortunately, none of that matters now. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. But I hope all those wrestlers fought. Uh, uh, find some great work somewhere. Say again? I said, I hope all those wrestlers, you know, find, find some sort of work somewhere, you know. It's a shame to see them go, but hey. Hey, me too, man. No. Now, without any further ado, let's get into Survivor Series. Yes, sir. Well, first off, we have the men's 5 on 5 Survivor Series team. Where we have um, Team Raw consisting of Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, and Austin Theory. Up against Team SmackDown consisting of um, Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Happy Corbin, and Sheamus. Now, now let me say this about the newest members of the teams. Austin Theory, I really... I, I, I I'm pretty iffy about him. I mean, I mean, 
I said with, with Austin Theory, I'm pretty iffy about her. But, but, but I will say, unlike the last time he was on the man roster, he's definitely ready now. Right. But because, because he's because so far he's doing a great job being a being a really douchey, cocky heel, taking selfies with 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 faces after they got their asses kicked and whatnot. He's doing a good job with that. But I don't think he. But part of me thinks doesn't think he's ready for 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 uh, 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 for this for this match. You know, to be a, to be a part of this to, to be a part of this match. But you know. Who knows? Maybe he might prove me wrong. Yeah, I can't blame you for saying that, my brother. But, and then on top of that, freaking, uh, and then of course, you know, Bobby Lashley, a great addition, a great replacement to the team. You know, he he will de- he will definitely help out Raw greatly of being on the team. But, but we have to address the elephant in the room, and that's the fact that freaking both Dominic and Ray Mysterio were 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 kicked off to the, the team. In order to, and 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 the way they were kicked off was like such was such crap. But like with like with Dominic freaking Adam Pierce literally literally threw him to the wolves with Bobby Lashley. Like well, like why like, what the hell man? Exactly. I mean, I'm not Dom's biggest fan, but the but but the kid's getting better. He he, he could have done he, he he probably could have done things all the team for the team, but you know it is what it is. Right, exactly. And then he did he did Ray dirty after Ray after Ray got beat up by by, by Lashley, freaking kicking him off the team as well, like. Come on, man. Right. Like, I think he threw Ray to the wolves. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. He threw Ray. He, he, he threw Ray to the wolves as well. Exactly. Ugh. But you know, whatever. Right. Then we had the uh, that. Uh, actually, before we move on, I'm saying straight up. I'm Team Blue all the way. I'm going for Team SmackDown. You know what I'm saying? I want either one of it, honestly, but the chance that Team SmackDown could win a half against McIntyre be the sole survivor since they're slowly bringing it back into the championship picture. Well, speaking of speaking of Drew McIntyre, that makes me think of the of the newest member of the team, Sheamus. He is he 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 will also make a, a, he he will make a great addition. He replaced Sami Zayn. That's a perfect replacement, in my opinion. You know, he had just got dropped to the SmackDown. He wasn't, he wasn't on TV. He was mentioned by Rich Holland, but freaking, but he hadn't been on TV. This is, this is perfect for him. You know what I'm saying? So, so who knows? Maybe with Raw, with Rich Holland's assist, uh, assistance, because now, because now they're aligned with each other. You know. He might be the sole survivor, you know. Who, who knows? Me, right, per- exactly. me personally, I want Happy Corbin to be the sole survivor. But you know, just having Team Blue win is is all right with me. Oh yeah, exactly. Moving on, we have the women's Survivor Series team. Uh, team Raw consisting of Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan. Carmella and Queen Zelina versus Team SmackDown consisting of Sasha Banks, Shanna Baszler, Shotzi Blackheart, and Natalia and Tony Storm. Now, 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 normally I, I wouldn't agree with with, with Sonya Deville as a and her and her crooked heel decisions, but I think she made the right decision replacing uh, Aaliyah with uh, Tony Storm. Tony Storm has a lot more skill, you know what I'm saying? She, she's a former, uh, she's, she's a former uh, NXT UK Women's Champ, you know what I'm saying? No offense to Aaliyah, so, but I just feel th- that that Tony Storm is more ready for this opportunity than she is. 
so she will compliment SmackDown handsomely. Right, I agree with you. Honestly speaking, it's hard for either one to win, but there's a lot of people on that team who don't coexist with each other at the moment, so it's harder to judge. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, here's the thing once again. Like I said, I'm Team Blue all the way for the pay per view. You can even look on my on my Twitter. I'm Team Blue. I put hashtag Team SmackDown. I'm Team Blue. So I want Team SmackDown to win, but unfortunately, unlike Team Raw, Team SmackDown has too many people that are not on the same page. Shotzi and Sasha are beefing, uh, and and that and that that might that might fuck up the the whole team. Who knows? Right. Then we, uh, but you know, we, we, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Then, then, um, move, uh, then moving on, we have the the uh, our first champion versus champion match: Damian Priest, the United States Champion from Raw, versus Shinsuke Nakamura, the Intercontinental Champion from SmackDown, facing each other. Um. I'll be honest. Part of me, part of me, really doesn't care about this match. Unfortunately, just because you know they had no build. You know, they hard. They, they 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 never interacted with each other at all. Like like I like unlike all the other champions who talk shit, shit to each other the weeks leading up, they never said anything to to each other at all. So honestly, I'm sorry to cut you, my brother. Honestly, go ahead, go ahead. This match should be good, but there was no build to it. This whole pay per view, I felt like they didn't start building the pay per view until like two a week or two before. They didn't start building it like they didn't do it like how they would always do end of October, beginning of November to the whole of November. I feel like they haven't. I hope it's good tomorrow, the whole show period. But I feel like there was no build to the damn show. Yep, and you know, and and and, and you know, it doesn't matter who's on the card if there's no build, no one's gonna care. Exactly. But, you know, of course, once again, Team Blue, I'm hoping Shinsuke wins, but but all in all, don't care. All right. Now, moving on next, we have the Raw Tag Team Champions, RK-Bro, taking, uh, taking on the SmackDown Tag Team Champs, two-thirds of the bloodline, the Usos. Honestly speaking, I think that match would be great. But they didn't start building that until this past Monday, so hopefully the match is great. I will yeah. find the one to win. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. This match, I, I don't care much e- either, but, but, uh, yeah. but hey, well, hopefully the Usos win. Um, now this next championship versus champions match, uh, I honestly don't care for at all. There's been plenty of build for it, but I don't care for it at all, just because we've seen this match. A million times over, and that's the Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch taking on SmackDown Women's Champion Charlotte Flair. I don't care for this match because we've seen this countless time and time again. And I don't care. Yeah, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, you know, honestly speaking, you know, um, honestly, you know, um, I um. I had a feeling that was the match you were referring to, you were about to say, but honestly, I want, um, honestly, this match seems a lot. I hope Becky wins, but I don't know what the hell's gonna happen, honestly speaking. I really don't. I really don't know what's gonna happen in that match because I really want Becky to win. I really do. But, um, um, really want Becky to win, but they blow Charlotte Flair so damn much, who the hell knows? Uh, I mean, me personally, just because we, like I said, we've seen this match before. I don't care about it. So, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. So, whoever wins, wins. I'll, I'll root for Charlotte just because she, she's Team Blue, but again, don't care. All right. And finally, we have the main event. The one that we uh, that 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 we all have been all are gonna look forward to. The uh, we have the WWE champion from Raw, Biggie, t- 
taking on the Universal Champion from SmackDown, Roman Reigns. Now, I'll admit, this will have to be the only time where I'm going to root for Roman because he's, he's Team Blue. So, I have no choice. Because, right. don't get me wrong, I love Biggie, but he's but he's on Raw, so I have to root against him. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. I want Team, uh, I want Team Blue. You know, I want Team Blue. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> How about you? Right. Honestly speaking, I want either one to win. I love them both, but they're going to give it to Roman. Yeah. And and I and I and I and I will say this: they had they had the interesting thing happen on on, on SmackDown, where freaking what's his face, um, where where uh, initially, uh, Roman was was gonna was gonna lead King Woods into a trap, but but uh, um, Woods outsmarted him. Again. I said, you know, you know that the, uh, Roman and Xavier were gonna be in in the ring, and initially, you know, it seems as though that um, Roman was gonna lead Xavier into a trap, but you know, with the help of Big E, you know, he outsmarted him. Exactly. So you know, this match is gonna be very very interesting. But again, you know, I'm hoping Team Blue is victorious. So hopefully Roman pulls out the win. Right. But if exactly. but if Biggie wins, I will not be mad at all. That again? I said if if Biggie wins, I will not be mad at all. I feel you perfectly. I love them both. My boy, my boy Roman Reigns and my boy Biggie. Love them both. Me and friend both of them, but they're gonna give it to my boy Roman. And then, fi- and then finally, I'm not going to talk about this much or at all, but, I, but at the literally at the last second, they announced that there's going to be a 25 man battle royal at Survivor Series. I, I I don't care about this, you know. Honestly, I didn't see SmackDown. I gotta watch it when I get home. But but yeah, that there, there's going to be a battle royal. Uh, probably going to put it on the pre-show. Who cares, you know? That's that's that. Gotcha. But you know, this pay per view, I'm hoping will live up to the hype. <laughs> How about you, man? Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to it for real. Yeah, I uh, I hope you definitely have a have have a great time uh, on at Survivor Series. You know what I'm saying? And and whatnot. I'm doing it live. I'm gonna enjoy it here. At my house and whatnot. Yes, sir, my man. I will enjoy it here in person. I hope it's great. I hope you enjoy it at your house. Next pay per view I will see you will be board games. And I hope the pay per view is great tomorrow. It was great giving the predictions. My boy, my boy Drew McIntyre is probably going to be a sole survivor tomorrow. And my boy Roman Reigns is probably winning tomorrow. Yeah. So you know, ladies and gentlemen, this this is going to do it for this episode of the contracts. I definitely want to thank each and every one of y'all for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and kick it, kick it with us as we, you know, kick our wrestling knowledge. And I want to th- I want to thank the humble man for his, for his usual coming through to kick his his wrestling knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir, my man. Hell yeah, my man, Ricard Payton. Always a pleasure giving our wrestling predictions, kicking our wrestling knowledge in each other. We two diehard wrestling fans along with others. We speak honest truth, and also some fans could understand so what's going on in the product and all that. You know, let's always do it. You know it. You for sure, man, for sure. And you know, well, keep it locked because we will be back with the predictions. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, our review. Um, it, 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 it's it's gonna be a, a, a little late, but we're gonna we will have our review. But until then. Well, you know, by way of Struggle Vision Productions, this is the Hitman and the Humble Man, and we out. Peace. Peace. We out.